So you want to make a quantum computer. Great. Super similar to making a normal computer, except entirely different. Computers work with bits, signals of ones and zeros. These ones and zeros are signaled through switches that allow electrons to pass through, and this is good. It works good. But computers are getting super duper small to the point where the size of a computer opponents isn't too far from the size of an atom. This is a problem because once you get small enough, the laws of physics okay. change and electrons will just go through the switch wall anyway, giving no fricks. Thank you, quantum tunneling. Cool. So computers just won't get any better. No, said some nerd probably. What if we just use this weird quantum stuff to our advantage? So he made a quantum computer. Now you will too with this guide. Step one, make a qubit. Qubits are the bits of quantum computers, just way cooler. Qubits don't use electrons like a normie. Instead, they use other stuff like photons or magnetic and it feels spinning. Thanks to this, qubits can represent not just one or zero, but it makes it both in any proportion. Congratulations, now you have a superposition qubit. Step two, manipulate superposition qubit. Oddly, whenever you look at or measure a superposition, it makes up its mind and takes one definitive side. Why you ask? I don't know. I just got here. Anyways, these superposition qubits can store like way more information than your average bit. Also, these qubits are intertwindizzled no matter how far apart they are. So if you measure one of them, you can pretty much predict the other. We just need to make a gate to manipulate this simulator a regular computer just way, way, way harder. You're gonna need a quantum gate. You probably don't have one lying around, but you should be able to find one on eBay for relatively cheap. Once you have one, get a superposition in, the gate takes note of it, it throws another superposition out, and you're all good to go. Step three, put it all together and mix. Flip the on button to your new shiny quantum computer and it should manipulate some probabilities and after that measure an outcome, observing the superpositions as actual ones and zeros. Step four, what to do with your new quantum computer. They won't replace your phone or computer probably, but it would be really good at finding stuff. Imagine you ask a regular computer to find a picture of your mom in a database of billions of moms. Your computer would have to test every single mom, but a quantum computer would find your mom insanely fast, not just because she's morbidly obese, but also because it can process the information way faster thanks to superpositions. But even better than that, your quantum computer will be really, really good at absolutely destroying IT security. Say you want all of your best friend's data. Well, your best friend's data and passwords is kept secure through an encryption system with a public key that anyone could get to. Luckily, only your best friend can decode them. But technically, using reverse engineering, you could use this public key to steal all your best friend's goodies. Using a regular computer, this would take years and is pretty much impossible. With your new quantum computer, you could do this fast, fast. Scary fast. Like consider your bro's bank account already empty fast. 